let's explore a specific incident. There are lots of incidents to choose from here. I'll just pick um, this one here. So we can see it's critical. We can see it's already been assigned to me um, and it's been acknowledged. So we know this is an in-progress incident. When we select this, uh, we get a specific view depending on what triggers the alarm. If it's a metrics graph, we'll get just the graph and we'll get the query. Uh, in this particular case, um, we can see that the query itself um, is uh, a response code of 100 to 209 and the username is system anonymous. Um, so this is actually testing if unauthenticated user requests are being permitted um, in a Kubernetes cluster. We can see the logs that actually trigger the event. Um, and we can see a metric graph indicating matching logs here and how they how they work. There's a few things you can do from this screen. Um, the first thing is you can hit incident history. You can see all the other times this incident has triggered, including description and things like that. So, and you can actually dive into that particular data as well. So we can see here that every every few minutes, pretty consistently, we're getting this alarm triggering. And we can go back and back and back as long as we want. We can then watch data for any of these particular versions of this alarm to see which data triggered each individual version of this alarm, which is really, really quite nice, actually. Up top here, we can silence the alarm if we want. We can change the assignee. We go back to watch data. The watch data view is generally giving you that live update of what's actually happening in the alarm. If you want to explore this data further, you can click go to explore, and this will open up a log query window for this particular uh, data. So you can see it's actually running um, a data prime query for that particular alarm. So you can see these logs are now available. And now we can explore these logs further, we can run analyses on them, we can do whatever we like. This is a really nice way of going from just the incident to the actual backing data.